In this example, we're going to estimate our first simple regression, interpret the coefficients, and test some hypotheses about those coefficients. Let's see what the setup is. We're asked to use the data in cars.csv to estimate the effect of a car's horsepower on its price. So it's always the effect of x on y. It's the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable. So here, the dependent variable is price. That's the variable that we're interested in. And we want to know how that's influenced by horsepower. What is the effect, effect of horsepower on price? So the regression that we're going to estimate has price as the dependent variable. Dependent. And uh, X is the independent. Independent. So how do we do this? Uh, so we've got the data cars.csv. All of that the data for class examples is in Nexus. So let's go to Nexus. And we're going to go to data for class examples. And there is the cars CSV. I'm going to click on it uh, and download uh, that uh, file. You can see, I already have that file downloaded once because it named it cars parentheses one. But um, that doesn't matter. Uh, now that I have, now I have that file downloaded on my hard drive, I'm going to go to our Studio Cloud. Now you can see I already have a bunch of projects here. You probably won't have any projects when you first start. So you're gonna start a new project and uh, I'll start the new project as well. And uh, I'm gonna call this one homework. So let's see, we're gonna give it a minute. So I'm gonna call it uh, 243, oops, there we go. Uh, 243 homework. And uh, and here are the different windows uh, that our studio has. Remember, I'm going to click over here so that I could see the window uh, where I can type my code. I see the console where I see my uh, results. I see the environment where I see the different objects that I create, such as models or uh, data sets. And here are some of the files that I have in this uh, project. So first thing we need to do is uh, upload the data to our studio cloud so that we can use it and load it into R itself. So we're going to click on uh, upload here. And we're going to choose file. And uh, I put this file in uh, my downloads folder, because I didn't really specify where it should be. It's in uh, downloads, uh, cars uh, one. So I'm going to uh, open that, say, OK. And uh, actually uh, rename that file uh, so that uh, it's just called cars.csv because that's what it's going to be called uh, when you uh, download it into your downloads folder if it's the first time you're downloading that file name and so now i have uh, cars uploaded uh, into the project but uh, i don't have it uh, as as a data set in our studio yet. I need to uh, load it uh, into our studio. I'm going to call it uh, cars and uh, I'm going to say read.csv cars.csv. I'm going to hit the control enter and, um, and here is the data set. Now I can actually look at it and I see, oh, there's the different models. There is um, horsepower. Uh, here's a TMV that stands for true market value. That's really our measure of uh, price. So I have that uh, data loaded in uh, R and now I can uh, use variables in that uh, data to estimate different models. So I'm going to estimate my uh, model one. I'm going to call it model one. I can call it whatever I want, but uh, that's the name I picked. And it's going to be a linear model. So the function is uh, LM. And uh, the dependent variable is price. Now, in this data set, price is um, 
called a TMV, true market value of the car. And then there's a little wiggle uh, that separates the dependent variable and the independent variables. And in my case, I only have one, this is a simple regression, only one independent variable, which is a uh, horse power. And uh, I want that model to be estimated using my data called cars, or data frame uh, called cars. And let me just make sure that uh, the make is here. And uh, let's see, horsepower. Yeah, it's spelled horsepower. Keep in mind that the R is case sensitive, so I need to spell it as uh, with a capital H. And uh, it's TMV. TMV is, uh, again, also capital letters. So I'm going to uh, go to the line in the code uh, window where I have uh, my model one uh, function. I'm going to hit uh, control enter and oh, look, and I created this new object that's uh, model one. If I want to see what's the summary of that object, what's the summary of the model, I can type in function uh, summary model uh, one, the name of the object that I want uh, summarized. Again, holding control key and hitting enter. I see that uh, in the console, uh, it's giving me my regression results. My coefficient estimate, standard errors, and a bunch of other things that we're going to talk about uh, later. So this is uh, how we estimate uh, a regression model uh, using uh, RStudio Cloud.